Housing and Urban Development Executive Lynn Patton continued her month-long NYCHA residency, getting a first-hand look at the conditions in New York public housing. Our own Nate Rogers took the tour with her today. Bill Lynn Patton calls NYCHA's living conditions a humanitarian crisis. She says it's scary and it makes her very angry. Now this is Queensbridge houses. Look at this massive hole in Lewis Plinkle's bathroom ceiling. It's been this way for nearly three years. Here's another resident's bathroom, a potential fire hazard where a light fixture is surrounded by duct tape patching a leaking ceiling. Also notice the condition of this kitchen floor and decaying stove. The tenant says she catches six to eight mice per week. The majority of people who live in public housing, especially our seniors, are retired city workers who raise their families. I have residents who are paying over $2,100 a month. Miriam Montanas now sleeps on this pallet in her dining room. That's because plaster is hanging from the ceiling in her bedroom. Also mold growing in her bathroom light fixture and in the ceiling. Guys, this is probably one of the worst apartments I've seen. Um, it just reinforces why we're here. Now, during the third week of living at NYCHA housing, Patton blames federal budget cuts, gross mismanagement, a failed work order system, and deception by NYCHA leaders. On NYCHA's homepage, like literally when you logged in as a NYCHA worker in the morning, there was on their homepage a cheat sheet on how to pass HUD's physical inspections. In January, following a federal court settlement, Mayor de Blasio and HUD Secretary Ben Carson agreed on a federal monitor to step in. Patton says there's a timeline in place to address urgent concerns. And if NYCHA doesn't get it together in due time, a federal takeover is still possible. We deliberately left federal takeover on the table. Um, to make sure that the city and the federal monitor and uh, the new chairperson work together. And finally, Bill Patton is also hosting a town hall meeting Thursday evening here at Queensbridge Houses. More information is on my Twitter page at Nate Wants to Know. In Queens, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News.